Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you some more Let's Play Technopolis 2 Skyblock or Techopolis, however which way you want to pronounce it. Today what we are going to be working on is going to be coal and lapis. We're also going to unlock all of the conveyor belt stuff so we can get completion on this chapter and we're going to go into basic research and unlock storage drawers because I have a great idea on how to automate our smelting with the storage drawer system. So let's see in the middle here, I have our death waypoint. I remember turning it off, but I don't remember deleting it, but it is gone now and I cannot figure out how to make this beam go away. <laughs> so I went ahead and where I, I I set up everything so that we just built around it. So it's the center of our, our base now. We have a beacon for, for better or for worse. We have a death beacon in the middle of our base. Uh, before I get started on unlocking coal and lapis, there's two things that I want to do. I want to make a grass, grass block and I want to make a green bed so that we can sleep through the night. Let's see how are our tree farmers doing. They're doing well. Let's grab some jungle leaves real quick. And do we have dirt in our inventory? We do. So let's go ahead. We really only need one, but let's go ahead and make eight. That sounds like a good, good, good idea. And let's just go ahead and spread these guys apart a little bit. You can just put them here and here, and then the grass will spread. So just anywhere, it doesn't matter. And then let's also go ahead and grab some more leaves. So what we can do is we can make this thing. We can make the, what is it called? Leafy string. And leafy string can be used to make green wool. And let's go ahead and make a bed real quick so that we can sleep through the night and make the videos a little bit brighter for you guys. Where should I put this guy? It doesn't really matter. Let's just go ahead and put it over here where it's out of the way. Uh, and see the grass, it's already spreading. Perfect. Uh, down here, I have vines being used as my ladder, and then we can reach the bottom of the jumbo furnace here. So I may or may not change this around a little bit, uh, but I do like the way we can climb using the vines. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to grab the light gray colored stone that we have in our inventory and let's see we should be able to unlock lapis immediately right we have it unlocked there it is lapis and coal fragments wonderful and i'm going to be really careful not to vein mine the rock that's underneath so let's go ahead and just use up all of our light colored stone actually oh i can't no i can pick it up right but if I use a prospector's pickaxe, it'll turn into resources. Let's go ahead and make ourselves an iron pick so that we can pick up a little bit more and then turn these guys into the 36, which will be our, our resource miner or colored stone. So we need a total of 36 light gray colored stone. So let's go ahead and pick up three back that's our 36 we need to make a resource miner and let's prospect the rest of them boop and is that enough for us to make we can make lapis fragments coal fragments and we need them in block form yeah so let's go ahead and turn them into block form before we do anything else we can use stone or we can use colored stone let's go ahead and use our stone we'll make one Actually, let's make 16 and is then another 28. Let's go ahead and smelt us up some more stone because what I do want to do is I do want to make a stone miner specifically. Let's see, what does that require? Tier two. So we need a tier two support frame for stone. That would be really good because then we can automate stone to be smelted into smooth stone. I wanna do that definitely. Oh, and we can use our bed because it's nighttime. Sweet, first time we use our bed. All right, brand new day. Let's go ahead and we'll move the compressed cobblestone. We don't need that right now. We have the stone in our inventory. We do not. 
So let's go ahead and grab. We need a total of 36 to get this guy running on stone. Let's go ahead and set this up real quick. Let's see, can I just carry on? We'll drop you off here and we'll put a new chest on top. And this guy should start making us regular stone. Yep, there we go. We got some stone going. Perfect. And we can use either light gray colored stone or we can use stone. But I do want to have this miner ready for us so that we can have an infinite supply of smooth stone. And while we're at it, let me also make sure that we set up our smooth stone before I mine it all up. So let's right click miner frame. And I did set it up in the middle here. So what I need to do, stone pickaxe, we're going to set it here in the middle. There we go. And did it build it? Perfect. So now we can fill it up with stone and set a miner on top of this guy as well. Miner chest. And light gray colored stone requires tier three support frames. So we can't set this guy up yet. We have to make tier three support frames with lapis that's coming in, which is no problem. We have the frame set up for this guy. We'll just leave these blocks here for right now and then replace the frame with lapis once we have that one coming in. All right, and I have been using sticks as my burnables for right now until we start automating the coal. It is more than enough. So we have smooth stone. Let's turn that around. We can start burning it and turn that into our light gray. So we have more for us to work with now. This stuff we can break down because we got our 36 on reserve. Let's go ahead and set these guys up. And this will definitely give us the coal and the lapis that we need to be able to set up miners. Let's go. Boom. There we go. That's more than enough. And what we do need is more stone, of course, which we're coming in right here. We got another seven, another eight. And let's go. Let's make the rest of the lapis ore real quick. So hover over an R. We need 36. There we go. The rest we don't need to do. And then we can set up our coal fragments. That'll be 29. We need 36 of coal as well. There's our seven. Let's go ahead and make this real quick. We have our coal and 36 coal and 36 lapis. Perfect. So what we can do is now, let's see, use, we hover over and hit U, minor, the coal ore requires tier two support frames. That works really well. How about the lapis, U, minor, tier two support frame. So the idea that I have is I want to set both of these guys up behind so that it can be a straight line through to the furnace for everything we need to smelt. Oh, that's pretty cool. The grass is coming in nicely. It's going to look really cool in a little bit. Let's go ahead and we can make some more of our tier two frames. So tier two, let's go ahead, stone. And we need what? A total of 64. I think we need a full stack of these in order to make two. Let's see. We got 63 and we have 14 here. Let's go ahead and set it up, placing minor frame. We're going to go ahead and set that up behind. So one here. It didn't fully make it. Let's click it again. Yep. And one here. And this one's fully made. Perfect. So let's go ahead and set up our lapis and our coal to be able to be mined up. And we are going to move them in a straight line towards the jumbo furnace and there we go we have our coal and our lapis coming in we have stone as our modifier block on top the next thing we should do is knock out these two quests for making lapis and for making coal so let's do that real quick so we can get to the conveyor belts so we'll make lapis like so and look at how much lapis we already have we have 48 this is how easy it's going to be. We have all the lapis we need to make tier three support frames. So there we go. We already have 24 tier three support frames. 
The coal is going to be eight pieces because they count as tiny coal as well. We can do it like that. Uh, of course, this can replace the sticks that we're using as burnables right now. They will burn a little bit better, I would say, than uh, the sticks. I believe the sticks burn half an, half an item per stick. The coal uh, fragment will burn one. And of course, full pieces of coal will burn, burn eight. So we have them like so right now. It is nighttime. And what we need to do is we need to craft the conveyor belts. So conveyor belts are going to be lapis coal and smooth stone slabs. That's easy enough. And then all of the other ones splitting is just three conveyor belts. And we have a dropping, which is a wooden hopper under a conveyor belt. That's an easy recipe as well. The vertical is going to be three on top of each other, gives you three. That's easy. We have extracting, which is just the hopper in a different place. And we have the item router, which is actually really cool. It is four hoppers, four conveyor belts, and the chest. Uh, since it is nighttime, let's go ahead and sleep and then just craft these items real quick for quest completion. 24 conveyor belts. Wow. Okay, we can make the verticals. We can make the wooden hoppers. Let's go ahead and make that. I'm giggling because of the uh, the boat. It just showed me like sky blocks and boats. That's one of my things. So we need two and then we need four. There we go. And let's go. We have an extracting one. We have a splitting one. We have a dropping one, right? And then what are we missing? We're missing one more. And it is, oh, of course, the item router. And get ready for that epic achievement sound that I love so much. Such a good feeling. I love that feeling. Such a good feeling. Okay, so I love conveyor belts. I think they're really awesome. But... Uh, we are going to go into storage drawers. So I'm going to use some of the conveyor belts because, let's see, we have stone, we have lapis, nice. We have coal coming in, and I believe these guys can extract through the top. So let's go ahead and pick these up. We're not going to need them anymore. We'll get rid of these. And since they can extract through the top, we have 12. Let's see, will you pop out immediately if I do this? Will you extract? No, huh? No, nope, there it goes. That's what I thought. It'll extract straight out the top. So we'll do this, and then we will run it this way to the jumbo furnace. And we'll do the dropping conveyor right there. Right here. Okay. And now we should be able to just set these guys up with the hammer. Oh, let me see. Does the hammer have a different recipe? The hammer requires bronze. And bronze needs to be made with copper and tin. Ouch. Okay, so we're not going to be able to make slants for these guys just yet. We have items spilling, though. So let's go ahead and we should have more tier 2 support frames. We are going to set up... I want the aesthetic to keep looking good. So let's do this. And it's going to be kind of goofy looking. A little bit goofy. Like this. I like that. And then we're going to run the conveyor this way. Whoops. Like so. And like this. And we ran out. We need one more conveyor belt. So let's go ahead and make that guy. And then everything should be dumped into the jumbo furnace where we're working right now. 24 more conveyor belts. And let's see. Right here. Now everything should be dumped into our furnace. And I'm starting to change my mind about the vines. Because every time I want to access the machine... I have to cut the vine away. <laughs> we'll keep the aesthetic on the sides and on the back. But the front, it's getting kind of annoying. I bet it's going to wrap around the corners, though. 
But here we go. I'm super excited. We have smooth stone, lapis, and coal semi-automated right now. It more or less is automated. We just have to figure out a way how to pull out the items, which the item router and the rest of the conveyors is pretty cool. But like I said, I'd much rather jump into, let's see, collect all rewards. Oh, we got conveyor belts as a reward. And we got an item router as a reward. Okay. I would much rather go back to basic research and unlock storage drawers because storage drawers is a mod that I use in every single mod pack. We have compressed cobblestone times two, which I have been manually doing right now over here. So, yep, I've been manually setting these guys up. We can make a compressed cobblestone times two generator as well, which wouldn't be a bad idea. So let's go ahead times two. We'll put down 36 over here. And then what we can do is we can make a frame with the lapis and it'll share the lapis on the front end here. Of course, this guy's not working because we need to replace all of this with lapis. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. We'll break the middle one here and we'll replace all of this with lapis real quick. All right, lapis. We got some more of the lapis tier threes. And let's go ahead and keep building this guy. And of course we can sleep through the night, but this guy, once I replace this block here, should make the unit begin working. Perfect. So now we have light gray colored stone coming in. Oh, that's wonderful. We could put stone caps on this guy real quick. We're just missing two. We'll do stone caps here. And what I did is I mined up the double compressed because the double compressed here, you miner, requires tier three support frames. And if I put that in the middle, I'm going to have to replace this as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it on its side right here. All right, placing minor frame, and we're going to put it down right here. Cool, it didn't use any of the tier two. So we have this guy up and running. Compressed cobblestone times two. We'll set this guy up since we're not going to need to run this thing or the colored stone through the jumbo smelter. We can just set these guys up off to the side. So there's that. We got a chest and we got a miner. So this should work right now. We got stone for caps. Oop and boop. There we go. And good segue. Now we're making compressed cobblestone times two. We have some more. The reason why I wanted to set this guy up is because the book for storage drawers is going to require cobblestone tier two. So let's see. What does the book need? We need eight tech bucks and we need chests, cobblestone, blank research papers, which is paper, which is sugar cane. That's doable. Do we have any paper left over? We actually have the blank research papers already made. So we just need that. We need chests and we need double compressed cobblestone. Oh, and let me not forget the tech bucks. So we're going to do storage. Yes storage drawers right here and there's our book and let's go ahead and turn it in submit submit that gives us the the uh access and let's see drawer keys can they be crap they can't be crafted huh let's see it should be an easy recipe yeah but we don't have gold yet upgrade templates are normal but we do not have access to gold yet we could buy it, but that is tech bucks. We have drawer controllers. We need a diamond. That is way out of our reach. So definitely going to take advantage of this and we're gonna buy ourselves a storage drawer. We need one of those. That is absolutely required. And let's just go ahead and get the key so that we can lock it. The next step that I wanna do is we are going to set up our storage drawers. So from underneath, we're going to need at least one hopper. So let's go ahead and set up the hopper like so, one hopper. The hopper is going to go directly into the drawer controller. So let's go underneath the unit real quick. We're gonna put the 
drawer controller here. Yep, that sounds good. Drawer controller. And we're going to feed directly into the drawer controller. There we go. We'll use our binds to climb back out. So now we have the drawer controller right here. And let's see. I want to free up some space here. We need another hopper for this idea to work. So let's go ahead and make one more hopper. The hopper is going to feed into the system. And we need drawers now. So do we have? We have access to framed drawers. That's actually pretty sweet. Let me see. We're going to put that as a bookmark because I have a feeling I'm going to be using this a lot. So is eight enough for right now? And then what aesthetic do I want to go with? Uh, should I go with blue lapis? No. Let's go with dark oak because I have a feeling I'm going to build out a lot more with dark oak. I do enjoy dark oak the most. So let's go ahead and take some of our dark oak and turn some of it into planks. Like so. And how is this going to look? We can choose both the border and the color, right? So the sides and the border. Yes. So to the side is going to be the wall. And above is going to be the fringe. Okay, so if we switch, switch that, it'll make it look like cobblestone. I don't know if I like cobblestone drawers. Or if I like the drawers to look like wood. Do I want to look like planks and then have a wooden edge? Compressed cobblestone edge. Tech buck eggs edge. <laughs> Something brighter. So oak. Mm, oak is such a boring color. Let's use birch. Let's see. Where's our birch tree? We'll grab this guy. And we'll grab half a stack of birch real quick. The birch is a nice light color. So let's see. Which direction do I want this in? Do I want light colored with dark border? Or do I want light border with dark drawers? Both look really cool. Let's go ahead and do the light border on dark. All right. So here, what I'm going to do is we can set up... We need one piece of trim. So we'll go ahead and make ourselves some oak trim. And really, the only trim that we need is right here so that it touches the storage drawer. Because now we can do... The actual, let's put the key in our offhand so it's locked. Now we can put down the actual drawers. So we'll put one here, here, and then here so that it's touching the hopper. And that one is specifically going to be our coal drawer. I'm going to put coal in here. And then the rest shouldn't matter. But let's see, can we stay symmetrical? We need to go like this, right? And then this one has two coal, one coal. It's dumping in. It's going back into the system this way. Let's get rid of our mini charcoal first. And the reason why these are stuck in here is because I have not assigned drawers for them yet. So let's put lapis here. And we need smooth stone. We'll put smooth stone here. And what else? We're making lapis, coal, and smooth stone. So we only need three for right now. Let's go ahead and unclog this guy with the smooth stone. And let's see, will it go in to the system now? And dropping in coal. And it's cool, it's coming down here and it's going in here. Okay, we slept off the night and what I decided was we are going to go ahead and grab the quantify key as well. So we need four of our tech bucks. We put those up real quick. So let's go keep our tech box here. We're going to grab the quantify key. There we go. And now we should be able to see quantities on everything. Yep. I moved some of our dark oak logs, planks, and sticks over because those are the ones we're going to be using a lot of. I could run this all the way down and through and touch the bottom of the drawer controller and have them fill in. But I don't think we need to do that right now. That's not that important. We're running on 185 smooth stone, 71 of our lapis. And our uh, jumbo furnace has a bunch of coal in it already. So what I want to do is let's go ahead and take 
some of it out. Let's go 63 should be fine. And we can turn these guys into blocks of coal because they are going to be our new cap block. And it'll lower the tick rate down to 150. So I'm going to go ahead and replace all of our stone caps on everything with coal caps, as well as set up our last resource miner for today's episode, which is going to be dirt. So I am going to set this, this one in the middle so that we can take advantage of the structure frames. We are just going to have to break this right here though. And lapis and sticks. So let's just go ahead and make a bunch of these. 22 is more than enough. Do we have this guy set to minor frame? Perfect. We have tier three support frames. Let me get rid of the tier two support frames out of our inventory ring real quick so it doesn't accidentally put those down again. And we can go ahead and click on the middle because I know it's just as easy to just set this guy up manually, but there we go. We have this one set and now we can put our 36 dirt in the middle and we can start auto mining dirt and miner and chest, perfect. And now we have blocks of coal that we can use on the end pieces. So let's go ahead and start replacing these guys. Everything is running and working exactly the way I want it to. Really awesome. Let's go ahead and set up some more of the colored stone in order to help the coal move along a little bit faster. Bloop. And a ridiculous amount of lapis just from breaking it up. That's pretty crazy. So what we need to do to finish off the episode is we're going to go ahead and replace those last two blocks and all of the caps on top of the trees. It is kind of unnecessary if you think about it. We only need these two for right now. Let's go ahead and put the rest into this guy here. So we have 52 in here again. Let's drop this in here. We have light gray colored stone, a bunch of it, and regular stone, a bunch of it. Uh, let's go ahead and just drop this off in here real quick. The jumbo furnaces, it can smelt 28 items at the same time, which since we don't have that many trickling in at a time, it really doesn't matter if we upgrade this guy or not. Uh, it's only when we manu manually want to craft a whole bunch of stuff at the same time that it really matters. But we have uh, a ridiculous amount of, uh, of cobblestone, so we should be able to just smash that achievement real quick uh, so that we can have the achievement done. And then we should be able to call it a stream because we have a ridiculous amount of cobblestone in here. So let's see how many we can make with this. All right, so everything seems to be clogged, and it's probably because the wooden hopper only has slots for one, so there we go. We have 64 of our furnaces ready. So let's see, we have even more available. We have, a, let's see, can I just hold 64 to get credit for the achievement? I know there's an achievement for it. So here we go, it's under advancements. We have... Upgrade a jumbo furnace with a jumbo furnace. Fully upgrade a jumbo furnace with a full stack of 64 jumbo furnaces. All right, so that one should have given us credit, right? Oh, there it is. It had to be inside the unit. So we have a purple quest, no sound effect, but we did get credit for the full jumbo furnace, 64 of them inside of one of them. And then we have jumbo furnace ready for when we need to smelt new things later on because as soon as we have more than nine items we're gonna need to do another setup for this and our last one and there we go we have replaced all of our trees with coal caps there we go this looks really nice let me not hit the ground too hard there we go all right and the last thing we can do since we have an overabundance of jumbo furnaces now is let's make a uh, jumbo furnace set up. Ooh, okay. I thought I was going to have to set them all up down. I don't want it to be right there. So let's put it here. Is that symmetrical? Yeah, there we go. 
So now it's in front of this guy. We can do another row of drawers, I guess. Oh, what we could do is we can set up a second drawer for coal and we can have it hopper in here as well like this we can have this set up so that we can do a little bit of hop skip and we can put coal in this guy as well so that this one will get coal later on and then of course quantity double click there we go now both of them will show very nice i do like this this is kind of a spontaneous idea right here so this one will do for manual stuff like alloying later on in the series which uh, we might even have to get into alloying in the very next episode so i'm pretty proud of this setup i like the way it is it looks nice and clean the only thing that bugs me of course is that i don't have vines on the other machine and the facing of the drawer controller I'd like for something to be right here that looks like the drawer controller. So I might spend some tech bucks just to get a block that has the same design on it so that this is perfectly symmetrical. Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like to show your appreciation and consider leaving a boom in the comment section below. Also, click on my dude here to subscribe for more Let's Plays. Ooh.